Diffraction and the angular size of the sun cause the boundary of the shadow to have a poorly defined edge. This makes it difficult to get a precise measurement of the shadow's length, though a meter stick shadow can still be estimated to the nearest centimeter. It also makes it difficult to tell exactly when the edges of the shadow fall along the north pointing meter stick. This would be a great place for some clever engineering to improve the precision of the shadow measurement or determining when exactly solar noon happens. Speaking of determining when solar noon happens, because the magnetic poles are not the same as the geographic poles, it's necessary to take magnetic declination into account when using a magnetic compass. Failure to do so will affect both longitude and latitude calculations. It's also apparent that magnetic materials cause interference with magnetic compasses. This was most evident with the steel ring stands that were used to hold the meter sticks, but placing the compasses on the ground also seemed to cause errors. Maybe this is due to buried metal like rebar, plumbing, or electrical conduits. Just be sure to account for all magnetic interference if using a compass. And don't forget that solar noon also happens when the shadow is shortest, so it is possible to do this experiment without a compass as long as you monitor the shadow's length. The measurements in the United States displayed a uniform shift to the south, about one degree compared to expectation. Now this can't be due to timing, since an early or late measurement would have produced a longer shadow which corresponds to further north. It is possible that the ground was tilted slightly towards the south which shortened the shadows. It would be a good idea to verify that the surface you're working on is level before making your measurements. Unsurprisingly, the historically difficult longitude measurement is still a challenge because the Earth rotates at 15 degrees per hour, a 5 degree difference from expectation correlates to a 20 minute discrepancy in the measurement. You could have an east-west measurement off by hundreds of kilometers. This may be responsible for most of the error in this experiment. If we underestimate the longitude difference, that would lead us to assume a larger Earth and an overestimation of the radius.